Some new beginnings though for a South Carolina small town. Clover is revamping its downtown. We first brought you that story last week when a Clover native announced he bought a strip of buildings on North Main Street and has plans to flip them for future restaurants in the city. Tonight, WCNC Charlotte's Julia Kaufman reports for us that's just one part of a much larger vision. Clover's downtown is filled with empty buildings. Signs of small business struggles during the pandemic. And a lot of things happened with the economy and you know, places had to shut down and places weren't able to open for a while. And so I think that that was really hard, especially on our small businesses. Clover's Main Street director, Alicia Griffith, says now they're rebuilding for the future. Several vacant spaces are being bought and reimagined by developers like Justin McFalls. It's always been a dream for me to own this building. I drive by it, I see it vacant, I uh, see the boarded up windows. More houses are being built and the small town is starting to grow. McFalls says now people need somewhere to go. We want them to stay downtown uh, on the weekends, Fridays and Saturday nights. Uh, it's like a ghost town. This empty storefront will soon be turned into a restaurant called King of Fire. And Griffith says two coffee shops are opening in the area this year. A lot of the buildings have sat for so long, so there's a lot of work that needs to be done to bring them up to code and some other stuff. So we're working on some business incentives to really try to offset some of that cost. Clover is working with Main Street America. It's a national program Monroe, Belmont and Waxhaw have used to implement a five year growth plan. The goal is to recruit restaurants and retail while keeping Clover's small town charm. In Clover, Julia Kaufman, WCNC Charlotte.